Catherine. Today, my friend Geneviève and I were going to talk to you about model auxiliaries. In fact, you may already know some of them, like can, may, would, could, should, how to, must, and more. First of all, you should know that there are some rules that apply to all of them. To begin, models are always followed by the base form of a verb or auxiliary verb. Also, models are always the same form no matter what the subject is. But for today's capsule, we are just going to talk about three of them. Would, would like, and would rather. But, be careful, there's a different meaning for each of them. Would is used for conditional action. Would like is to express a desire or a preference. And finally, would rather is also used to show a desire or a preference, but between more than one item. Here are some examples to help you assimilate the rules. For would, we could say if Goofy had a plane, he would travel all around the world. So here, we have a conditional action, because in condition to travel, Goofy needs a plane. For would like, we could say, Donald would like to go swimming all day. Here, Donald's desire is to go swimming. For would rather, we could say, Snow White would rather stay in the woods with the seven dwarfs than going back home. Here, we still have a desire, which is to stay living in the woods, but the other item is to go back home. Now that you understand the present forms of the models, we are going to explain to you their past forms. The rule is quite simple. To form the past tense of those models, you have to add have and then the past participle. To help you understand, here are some examples of the three models used in their past forms. For Wood, we could say, Mickey Mouse would have loved this day if it wasn't for the rain that ruined his picnic with Minnie. Here we add have right after the model, Wood, followed by the past participle, which is love. For Wood Like, we could say, Woody would have liked his day better if he hadn't had a fight with Buzz. Here we add have after the model and the past participle like is coming right after. For would rather, we could say Cinderella would have rather gone to the bar than staying all night cleaning the house. Here we add have just between would and rather. After that, there's the word gone, which is the past participle. So good luck! Also, you can find more explanations and opportunity for practice in your grammar book at page 57 to page 65. But you should know that English people don't say would. They prefer to do a contraction. So when they speak, you only hear, hear the D of would. For example, if we say, for today's lunch, I would like a hamburger rather than a hot dog. English people would say, for today's lunch, I'd like a hamburger rather than a hot dog. So I hope that you enjoyed watching our capsule and see you next time. Goodbye!